It's been a while since I've done a speed drawing, and since I have a couple on my iPad, I thought, hey, why not? I'll pull one out of Procreate and just kind of talk over it again. And I've been reminiscing a little bit lately about how I used to draw a webcomic. It was like a weekly webcomic, and I posted it out on my website. It's been like five years since I did it on a weekly basis, but I learned a lot in that time about, you know, promoting it and stuff like that. So I thought, hey... I'll share it. Also, in this video, I'm not really going to be focusing on things like post it to Reddit or post it to Tumblr. That's all fine and good, but it doesn't really help you because you probably already knew that. And if nobody is following you on those services, it really doesn't matter if you post it there or not. But there isn't like a magic promotion bullet out there like, hey, I'm going to post it on this website and millions of people are going to see it. There's nothing like that. So what I'm going to focus on here is really what worked for me back when I was drawing a webcomic. And it's a lot similar to what I'm doing right now, uh, kind of building an audience with these videos. So here we go. I've broken it down into five steps. Step one, plan for the long haul. If you've never drawn a comic before, don't expect to just pop one out there and have it just go viral. You can try, but you should really be thinking long term. So let's go back. Back in the day, uh, there was really only one or two ways for people to see the comics that you were producing. You had to sell it to a newspaper or magazine. And in order to do that, you had to go through a syndicate. So when you pitched to a syndicate, uh, you would send them a month's worth of comics. So like 30 whole comics. That's a lot of work. Yes, it is. But if you approach your webcomic with this kind of mentality, you're going to be way ahead of the game. You should be thinking about building an audience. So when you post your comic, only like two people are going to read that first comic. And that might seem discouraging at first. It's In fact, it, it's really discouraging. But when you post your second comic, like four people will read it. And then when you post your third comic eight people will read it. So you, you kind of get the idea. It's it's kind of like every comic you post, you want a couple more people to read it and you build that audience. And if you can get a couple people excited about it and find those people, they're going to share it with other people and they're going to those people are going to get excited about it, share it with other people. And that's the idea behind growing your audience. So number two, building on that, you want to think about your audience. So I wrote a comic about web designers. So my audience was web designers and early on designers loved it and that gave me a great in and it gave people something that they could print out and hang on their office walls or share with their coworkers. and it was also a way for me to meet other designers on twitter i would read someone's blog and a funny comic idea would come to me and then i would draw it up and share it with the person who wrote that blog post that inspired me and more often than not they would share it around with the people they knew either online or offline also, I should mention, I didn't really go for the most popular people in my field, mostly because I figured they already had a ton of followers and they were getting a lot of messages and already dealt with like a lot of noise online. And I thought it's it's a lot harder to get their attention. But there's hundreds of other web designers who are posting blogs and thinking about these things and posting on Twitter. And so I, I really focused on them. Who's saying interesting things that's maybe not super well known right now. On to number three, make yourself a schedule. I posted every week. I know a lot of folks who post more and their comics grow faster. The more you post, the better you're going to get. And I would try to write like a gag a day and then I'd take the best one by the end of the week and I would draw it up and post it on like a Monday or Tuesday. And when you're in that mindset of writing every single day, you're gonna see opportunities and ideas everywhere. Also, after about eight months of drawing my comic, I had my first break and I had a comic that hit the front page of Dig. And Dig was a website, just like Reddit. It was cool once. I'm old. I remember it. Dig was really popular, so when it hit the front page, it totally, like, destroyed my site in a matter of, like, less than an hour. And once my site went down, then I got yanked off of Dig's homepage, so that was over quick. But the good thing about that was I got a lot of residual. A lot of people did see it, and the people who saw it, who kind of connected with it, ended up reposting it in other places and sharing it, and that was... That was really pretty awesome. Which brings me to number four, which is consistency. People saw that comic and they reposted it and they shared it around. Now, since I had a couple months of comics already built up on my site that were similar to that, a lot of folks who liked that comic ended up kind of going through my archive and reading some of that old stuff that no one had ever really read before. So this plays into this idea in advertising uh, of repetition and seeing something over and over again. Most advertisers assume that the first time that you see a commercial on TV or an ad on the internet, you will not notice it. And I believe them. I believe that is 100% true. But 
the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth time that you see that advertisement is when you start to remember it. Sometimes you remember it totally for the wrong reasons because it's obnoxious and annoying, but sometimes you remember it in a good way. Your comics will work the same way. When someone reads your comic, no matter where they came from the first time, they'll laugh and think, that was good, but then they're going to go away. They're not going to become subscribers right away. But then when they see it from another source somewhere, you know, down the road, they're going to be like, oh, I remember this site or I remember this comic. And that's when you start making that connection. And maybe by the third or fourth time they see your comic, that's when they subscribe to it. Because at that point, they're like, wow, this has made me laugh two or three times, which means I've gone from, yeah, this made me laugh and that was funny to I really don't want to miss what this person is doing. I want to make sure I read them all. I'm going to subscribe. And so last but not least is number five, which is don't get discouraged. A couple weeks or months in, it might feel like you're just treading water, um, but that's all part of learning and getting better and doing good work. And also a lot of the work that you're doing right now is going to pay dividends later. Chances are is you got into this because you enjoy writing and drawing comics. And so you should really focus on that, really focus on creating something that you like, really focus on something that makes you happy. Because eventually the thing that makes you happy is going to connect with somebody else who's made happy by the same things, and they're really going to like your work. If you focus on just being successful, that's where the discouragement really kind of sinks in, and you're not going to enjoy creating that work, and you're going to get frustrated when other people aren't really latching onto it quickly. And I think that finding that community of like-minded people is so much more fulfilling than that just one shot of success when that one thing like just does really well. So those are my five tips. If I missed something, and I probably did, or if you have other advice that might be helpful, you know, leave them down in the comments. Um, let me know. I'd love to hear that. And that's all I got for this week. So I will see you guys in a week or two.